Hi there, my name is Lynn Wilson, that's me, and I'm here to help you understand what it means to have a reconnect photovoltaic power generation system on your roof. The first thing is to have a look at the roof and see the layout to understand there's uh, the slope involved, um, there's shading that has to be considered and most of all it has to face north because you get more power produced from the panels when it's facing directly north. It's better to have it on a slight angle but in this case we couldn't put it on an angle up, up the, the sloping part of the roof because of the, the shading that's causing this photo was taken late afternoon you can see there and again in the early morning you had the same problem on the other side so it was wasn't any good putting the panels up on this part of the roof so they've gone on the veranda roof which is okay the next thing is we put the rails in here you can see they have a special mounting system and you can see how they're attached to the to the roof uh, there's one panel installed here at the moment and this is three panels five panels and this is all the panels for a one kilowatt grid connect system uh, now we have to install the junction box here it is the junction box is installed and this is the cabling to the downstairs where it's you'll see later you also notice that this is the the cable from the panels you don't connect up this until the very very last moment now here it is all our work on the roof is done so the cable comes from here and round here it's all in conduit and there's a special uh, roof mount um, connection piece here to stop any water going through everything is sealed and and all finished properly the next thing we do is underneath the house we mount the inverter you can see this is an outdoor Fronius IG15 inverter for going outside uh, this is the cable from the inverter it's going to be connected to the junction box later on this is a small um, meter board uh, not a meter board but a, 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 a junction box switchboard that has all the controls for the house in it we needed to get in behind this uh, as you'll see in the next slide this one here now it shows that we couldn't take the cable straight from the DC AC board switchboard to the meter box because it was set into the wall and it was too far back into the wall so we had to actually come down underground and come up through the wall into the back of the meter box the, the, uh, the box here this is the cable coming down from the roof and it goes through up into the brings so it brings the AC the DC power down into the the brake board here the brake box then it goes up into the inverter and the inverter um, converts the power to AC um, and is, is has all sorts of controls to make it uh, compatible with the grid power so that comes back down into there through the DC the, the AC break, circuit breaker and back up into the the board here and then it goes off to the mains and that's about all that a grid connect system is consists of you'll find that there's all sorts of signs that that need to go in that you can't see very well here but in other slideshows that I've I'm doing that you'll be able to see those better. Thank you very much.